Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Ball. Hello, basketball fans. Brian Anderson here, courtside with Doris Burke and Grant Hill. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. And a look at the starters for the Knicks. Randall and Hartenstein together down low. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Hart in at the three. And for Philadelphia, Harris and Embiid are in the middle. Kyle Lowry out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Oubre in at the three slot. And a battle of the bigs tonight, Grant. Something we're seeing a little more of lately. And you know this league is a copycat league. And right now the trend is about teams looking for size and skill. Big guys who can pretty much do everything. That's the thing about the NBA. It's always adapting and always evolving. And so off the tip, it is New York. Brunson against Lowry. Here's Brunson. The floater. Can't connect from short range. Lowry against Brunson. Lowry outside. Hauled in by DiVincenzo. And here's New York now. Inside. Randall. Second chance shot. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, with his strength, Julius Randle can absorb contact easier than a lot of players. This guy is not going to be intimidated. Free throw, no good. With his size and skill set, Julius Randle can be a walking mismatch. You put a big man on him, and he will blow right by him. Now, if you go small, he'll drag him to the block. So when Randle is focused and involved, he is a monster to deal with. He hits the second from the line. The last few seasons, the Knicks have had a defensive-minded approach. And that's been the key for them getting back into the postseason, B.A. You know, they play great team defense and pride themselves on getting stops. Now here's Oubre. About a minute into this first quarter. Can't hit that one. Pass to Brunson. Back to Hart. And there is a whistle. That goes on Tobias Harris. That's his first foul. Hart from long range. Now that's a terrific contest by Oubre. He's got the length and quickness to defend every perimeter spot. One through three. Maxi, that's good. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Harris passes to Lowry. And here's Oubre. Hart pulls it in. To the paint. Here's Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. Wow, excellent explosion off his feet by Julius Randall. Pass to Harris. Second chance effort. And he takes it up and lays it in. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Brunson. Soft touch off the glass. Now, this is what makes Jalen Brunson special. You've got to knock down contested shots. Mr. Brunson up to the task. Pass to Harris. Back to Maxi. Now Embiid. And here's Oubre. He's covered by Hart. And Oubre gets it to go. Well, you have to respect how fast Kelly Oubre gets his shot off in catch-and-shoot situations. 
Maxi against DiVincenzo. And he buries his first look. These teams just feeling each other out. Yeah, I love the spirit out there. Already six lead exchanges. Pass to Embiid. From nine feet. And the 76ers tack on two more. I love the confidence Embiid plays with, especially this close to the rim. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Grant. Oh, they got a solid roster, but there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. And the 76ers going with a whole new group out there. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes play. Outside Ananobi. Left side Robinson. And he banks in the layup. Wow, forceful finish by Mitchell Robinson. Love to see it. Why don't you flex right there, Mitchell? Payne, pass to Reed. Shoots over Robinson. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. One team gains momentum, then the other storms back. Hey, if this is any indication of how the game is going to go, we're in for a treat. Now here's Burks. And an Obi for three. Offensive rebound. Here's Robinson. Can't hit from in close. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Oh, there's the alley. Pass to McBride. That shot off the mark. Good D by Melton. Payne against Burks. The shot by Payne, no good. His defensive talent, such a gift for his squad. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. Batum finds Melton. Six to shoot. Here's Payne. Let's it go from 11. And he nails the jumper. 34 seconds left in the first. Pass to Ananobi. Outside Robinson. Bogdanovich from long range. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Now Melton. No made baskets yet. Batum outside. Heel to the ball. Let's it go from deep. Unable to get that one. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. The Sixers on top. Up one. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. All right, guys, what's your take on the Sixers so far? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. Here's Maxi. So on the floor for New York, they've got Isaiah Hartenstein. Josh Hart is out there with OG Ananobi. 
Then it's Dante DiVincenzo, and it's Brunson in at the point guard position. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Brunson passes to Hart. Outside Brunson. Down low. Here's Hardenstein. Yes, and a nice assist from Brunson. And we've heard some, like Greg Popovich, say that three-pointers are becoming too prevalent. Doris, do you think they overwhelm other parts of the game? You know what? There is obviously a heavy emphasis on two things, three-point shooting and restricted area attempts. I think the feeling is the mid-range has been eliminated, but here's what I know, B.A., to win a playoff series, that mid-range game comes back into play. And again, I go back to the point that I have been consistent about. To me, the game is still in a great place. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. The Knicks are in the nation's media capital, but Coach Tom Thibodeau said, I've never felt pressure. I've been at this a long time. I approach it the same way. I put everything I have into each and every day. I'm willing to live with that result. There's no one, no one who studies this team harder than I do. No, he has made the difference for sure. Thanks, Allie. And he knocks down the first one. Kelly Oubre Jr. entered this league as a dynamic athlete, excellent in the open floor. But give this young man credit. He's worked hard to develop the perimeter game that's absolutely critical to success. Julius Randle's checked in for New York. So Oubre nails them both. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Brunson misses. The Sixers leading. Outside Oubre. He can't get it to go. Hart with the defensive effort. Here's Brunson. Take it off in transition. Jalen Brunson. If Jalen Brunson is out in transition, you know his first thought is, I'm going to score. Well, when Josh Hart gets going, his confidence skyrockets, Greg. That seems to be the key for him. Well, his floor game is special regardless. I mean, the rebounding and defense are his bread and butter, B.A. And when he's hitting shots, he becomes the complete package on the wing. That free throw misses. They're one of the most well-rounded players in the game. Embiid is also a top-notch trash talker, too. I mean, he knows how to get under the skin of his opponents. And the second free throw is good. The Knicks have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Maxi against DiVincenzo. It's stolen by Maxi. Blocked! And they'll get another chance. Lowry finds Maxi. Second shot opportunity. And he lays it in. Maxi's got four points in the quarter. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that's simply stated a terrific play. Now here's Brunson. Hart passes to Brunson. Five on the clock. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. Randall, good. Boy, there was plenty of contact down low, but Randall assertive and able to find the finish. Harris passes to Maxi. He shoots it. Here's Embiid. Inside, Embiid gets the advantage. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Now a timeout called by New York. I don't think this timeout is just to give the guys a breather. 
coach is looking to switch things up. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. The 76ers making a switch here. Heald's checked in. And the switch here also for New York. Robinson's checked in. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for New York. Four-point game. Now here's Robinson. Outside. DiVincenzo. Back to Robinson. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got six rebounds now in the game. And it's Maxi missing. The Knicks have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Randall, good. Randall's got seven points in the game. Well, defense is smart to get close to Randall, but he powers through it anyway. Lowry against Brunson. Lowry, the pass to Heald. Harris outside. Ooh, Robinson with a block. This guy's nose for the basketball, and his timing as a shot blocker is intimidating. Mitchell Robinson so quick off his feet. Now here's Brunson. Outside Hart. Takes a 13-footer. Keeps it alive. Great positioning on the putback. Robinson's got his second basket of the game. How about the anticipation and the timing there? He is all over it. Lowry drives in. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Man, that's a hard drive to the cup. And Lowry not about to be denied in that instance. Lowry against Brunson. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Batum is checked in for the Sixers. Melton comes in for Lowry. Burks, he's checked in for New York. McBride comes in for Brunson. Well, a nice defensive play. Alter the shot, then stay right there to clean up the glass. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Melton up top. No points so far. Fast break. New York. Burks with it. And it's healed picking him up. Burks no good. Terrific rim protection impacting the shot. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Now here's Melton. Pass to heel. Shoots over Burks. Here's Embiid. He can't get that one to fall. Good work defensively by Robinson. It's all tied in Philadelphia. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks so much. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. And Tom, what's it going to take down the stretch to win this ball game? I think just tough defense, take good shots, not turn the ball over, play smart. Back to the basics. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Ali, appreciate it. And folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. They ended the period holding on to a slim one-point lead. 
they couldn't hold on to the slim lead they had at the start of the second quarter and headed into the locker room with the game all knotted up. Let's start with you, Shaq. What do you think about the Sixers? Well, those second chance points are huge. They only came because of their effort. Their work on the offensive glass is what's keeping them in the game. They definitely should try to continue to stay tough on the glass. It's been key so far. And over to Kenny. Your thoughts on the Knicks' first half? Well, I love the way they're pushing the tempo, beating the defense down the floor, filling the lanes, finishing with authority, Ernie, getting to the rim, and finishing hard. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. We're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. One of the stories here, Julius Randle, he is getting it done today. When he got good position and they got the ball to him, he was automatic. Well, you can see why they would continue to play through him. He was tough to stop, super assertive down low. Just great work. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Harrison and Embiid are in the middle. Maxi out there with Kyle Lowry. And it's Oubre in at the small forward position. That's the group for Nick Nurse getting going here in the second half. First one falls. Both free throws good from Maxi. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. Brunson against Lowry, and Kyle Lowry is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. Seventy Sixers on D. The lead is two. Di Vincenzo on the wing. To the inside, Hartenstein. An easy two on the layup. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Well, Bogdanovich may not be a star, but he has respect. All-star Kevin Durant said, quote, guys like him challenge you with their fundamentals. He can dribble, shoot, and pass. He's methodical and efficient with his movements. A guy like that can play with his brain and also with his skills. It presents a unique challenge. Brian? Boy, that is the truth. Nice stuff there, Ali. Thank you. Yeah, don't let Brunson size fool you. This guy operates consistently on the interior. And a guy who entered the league in a supporting role, Doris. Jalen Brunson, now a legitimate star. He is, B.A., and consider that this is a man who was drafted in the second round and just kept working, biding his time, and contributing to winning. And the greater the opportunity, the more he has stretched to meet that opportunity. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for a shot. Out to the right wing. Embiid with it. He's against Hartenstein. Embiid passes to Oubre. Goes back up. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Maxi. Here's Embiid. Missed it, even after all of those chances. And Brunson's got the ball here for New York. Randall with it. Guarded now by Maxi. Hardenstein passes to Randall. Over Maxi. Randall can't hit. 
The 76ers have got just two of six in the second half. Here's Lowry. Embiid. Whoa! Joel Embiid with the follow. And that's the hunger that Embiid plays with. He just gobbles up the miss and goes back up for the score. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. Now DiVincenzo. Back to Hartenstein. Clock at six. And here's Brunson from the arc. That one's down for Brunson. One of the things you love about Jalen Brunson, he takes quality shots. How about that look from three? Pass to Embiid. Lowry outside. High arcing shot. And he lays it up and in. Put the ball in Kyle Lowry's hand in a pick and roll, and he will pull all the right strings. Now a timeout called by New York. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Both teams changing it up here. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Here's Burks. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Love to see Alec Burks get aggressive with the defense. This guy terrific getting the defense to foul him. good on that one. Alec Burks continuing to develop into a dependable scorer. He's got great size for a two guard. Good on the second one. Well a little shaky from the line and instead of putting them in front he's only able to tie it up. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Heald passes to Melton. Connects from downtown. Melton's got himself on the board with a three there. Now this guy has made giant strides in his playmaking. Nice setup by Buddy Heald right there. Knocks it loose. Here's Hartenstein. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Free throw is good. Oh. 
That one falls. So he hits both of them. The 76ers have gotten five of ten shots to go. Down low. Here's Heald. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Heald's got his first points in this one. Boy, Heald usually does his work on the perimeter. How about that finish inside? And for Buddy Heald, he became the second fastest player in NBA history to hit 1,500 three-pointers, Doris. And consider, B.A., only Stephen Curry did it faster. Heald is one of the top three-point shooters in the league. He's got both the volume and the efficiency to prove it. And it's Heald missing. New York trailing. And here's Ananobi. Here's McBride. Lays it up and banks it in. And it's amazing. Neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time. Yeah, these guys are leaving it all on the floor tonight. Now here's Batum. Still without a bucket. Right side pain. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. The Knicks making a switch here. DiVincenzo's checked in. There's 42 seconds left in the third. Pass to Hardenstein. And Anobi with it. Guarded by Batum. Up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. Hardenstein's got six points in the quarter. Big time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip-ins are easier to make. Bogdanovich against Heal. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Just five on the clock. Set up, set up. Late clock. The Sixers need to pull one up here. That's the end of the third, and it's tied up. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. You know a thing or two about a point guard's job. Set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. So on the floor for New York, Randall and Hartenstein together down low. Jalen Brunson is out there with Dante DiVincenzo, and it's Hart in at the three. Well, there's a certain edge that Julius Randall plays with that allows him to draw contact. good on the free throw it seems to me Julius Randle improves every season and the more responsibility he's given it seems the better he performs and he's good on the second I'm sure he wanted to hit all his free throws, but at least he gave his team the lead. Lowry 
Ready to pass to Maxi. Embiid inside. He's against Hartenstein. Maxi surveys. There's the drive. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for New York. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. Also, I just love how hard they've taken the ball to the rack. They've made a point of attacking, and it's led to them getting buckets. And that one misses. on the second one New York shooting 51% good clip from the field DiVincenzo the pass to Brunson and there's a whistle he'll head to the line to shoot two that'll belong to Kyle Lowry well despite his size Jalen Brunson loves to operate in the painted area First one at the line is good. Now Jalen Brunson approaches a point guard position as a scorer. And boy, this guy can light you up. Both shots good from the strike. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for the 76ers. Trailing by two. Pass to Lowry. Uses the glass to finish the layup. This continues to be a battle. The lead is within reach. Yeah, but that's been elusive. They've missed a few plays along the way that they'd love to have back. Brunson passes to Randall, and the shot goes down. You get to see on display how Jalen Brunson has become this dynamic force offensively. Nice use of the pick and roll. And Philadelphia calls time here. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse had to say to the team. And Coach challenged the team, asking them to bring the fight inside, telling them to play with pride, telling the team, you're getting bully near the hoop. Let's see if it works, guys. Allie, thank you. Lowry against Brunson. Here's Embiid. Four on the clock. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Well, Kyle Lowry has spent his entire career finding open teammates. Lowry against Brunson. And there is a whistle. That goes on Tobias Harris. That's his third foul of the game. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. And 
and we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Embiid with a steal. That's just phenomenal defense. The defense feels like it's all over the place and knows exactly how to guard it. Pass to Oubre. For three, here's Harris. Sinks it from distance. Now it's a three-point Philadelphia lead. Excellent recognition from Kelly Oubre right there. So solid sensing when one of his guys is open. DiVincenzo with it. Oubre picks him up. DiVincenzo against Maxi. Pass to Lowry. Here's Embiid. Six on the shot clock. Out to Harris. The three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Hardenstein's got his fifth rebound in this one. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Brunson with it. Blocked by Embiid. Yeah, imposing his will. Embiid sending a message with that rejection. Shot clock at five. Here's DiVincenzo. And again, the Knicks missing. That's a shot he makes with regularity, but that time the defense up to the challenge. Hart against Maxi. Hart passes to DiVincenzo. Back to Hart. Left side, Brunson. Outside, DiVincenzo. From deep three point range, he can't hit that time. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Time out, time now out. a timeout called by New York. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid. You, you know what's interesting? It, it seems like he's hitting everything he's putting up there. I mean, he's caught fire and just has continued on with the attack. I mean, his ability to pick the D apart, wow. So impressive, so incredible. Now here's Brunson to end the run. Brunson with the finish inside. Jalen Brunson wants the ball in these moments, and there he shows you why. Big time shot. Inside, Embiid. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got three assists now in this one. <laughs> one thing you can say about Embiid, he never shrinks from the moment. The three, DiVincenzo. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Got it. Good job in the low post. And it's a 7-point 76ers lead. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Brunson passes to Randall. Fires from deep. Philadelphia grabs the miss. 
Embiid's got his 16th rebound on the night. Outside Maxi, pass to Harris. And here's Oubre from the arc. And it's Brunson with the rebound. And Brunson's got the ball here for the Knicks. Seven point differential. Oh, he nails it! And now they trail by just four. You want the ball to find its way into Brunson's hands in these big time moments. He relishes the opportunity. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Pass to Embiid. Outside Maxi. Beyond the arc. Doesn't go for him. And here are the Knicks now. Here's Randall. Second shot opportunity. No good on the shot. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. And now they decide to foul intentionally. one drops and that puts him up five maybe the most defining aspect of Kyle Lowry's career has been that competitive spirit this guy has got vision scoring ability but he's always been team first well you want to continue to build the lead so a very productive trip to the line right there now a timeout called by New York they're down by six we've got 22 seconds left in the fourth your thoughts guys they need to answer fast. Well, preferably a three, right? If there's a clean look, take it. Here's Brunson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Now this is what Brunson does so well, right? He keeps defenders off balance and draws that contact. He drops the first one, and that brings him within five. Both free throws, good from Brunson. Jalen Brunson, a strong free throw shooter. He's knocked down big time clutch free throws before. He's got another chance. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. He doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. Oh, you know Lowry loves these moments. Game on the line. Give me the ball. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that puts him up five. 
There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Randall, the pass to Brunson. New York, no good that time either. This one for three. Oh, he buries it from outside. Jalen Brunson right now attacking without hesitation. His foot is on the gas pedal. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're ahead by two. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter here. The intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Good on the first. And that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. And it's a four-point ball game. Put a bow on this one. His composure at the line effectively ends it. So it's the 76ers taking the W in a close one. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. You get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game, but they overcame every one. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Thank you. Joel, in the past, you've certainly had your critics, and you have not run from them. What are you looking to prove out there? Uh, just being dominant, so I want every time people hear my name, I want them to know that I'm a dominant player. Well, you do have the ability to dominate every single night. Good luck moving forward. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.